Yesterday, Trackmania was released to the world. A racing game with so many various surfaces, crazy tracks and effect blocks will inevitably have a lot of depth. And as someone who's played the old Trackmania games for 7 years, I know it can be a daunting task to learn all the niche mechanics when you're starting out. So in this video, I'll show and explain what I think are the 5 most essential Trackmania skills that will help you improve in the game and give you some goals to focus on. The mechanics and tricks I'm going to show you are not the coolest or the flashiest, but the things that you'll find a use case for on nearly every map you play. And if you master them, you'll have an amazing skill foundation in the game. Let's begin. Skill number 1. Air Break. Air Breaking is the easiest skill in the game, and perhaps the most universal as well. Air Break allows you to stop the car's rotation while you're in the air, by tapping Brake. It's used to flatten out the car so that you can land smoothly after jumps and dropdowns, and maintain much more stability. It's something you can use on nearly every jump in the game, and the sooner you learn it, the better. Here's how it works. When you're in the air, tap the brake once, and you're done. It's that simple. You don't have to let go of the acceleration, just keep holding it as you're in the air, and tap the brake once, and you'll stop the rotation. Quick bonus tip here, if you're coming from a turn into a jump, Air braking alone won't be enough to control the car in the air. For situations like these, you need to do a so-called counter-steer. As the name suggests, you steer opposite of the direction you came from in the air, and it stops your car's sideways rotation. Skill number 2. Drifting. Whenever there's a turn on a map that is too sharp to be taken at full speed, the fastest way to pass it is to drift around it. There's a whole track style in Trackmania centered around drifting called Tech. But this basically applies to any map, so long as there's a sharp road or platform turn, you should drift it. Drifting does not work on grass, dirt or ice however. Drifting is a pretty complex mechanic and while mastering it can take hours, just learning it is pretty easy. You need to be going at 180 speed or higher to initiate a drift. As you're approaching the turn you want to drift in, you need to be fully steering towards it for about half a second. And then, if you start holding brake, the car will begin to drift. Now you have to hold the drift for as long as is necessary that you can pass the turn at full speed. This is something that you'll need to build up a feeling for and that will come with time. Don't worry about it in the beginning. Just focus on consistently starting the drift and getting through the turns without crashing. For keyboard players, I suggest rebinding your brake key from down arrow or S to a button you can press with your other hand. I personally drive with the arrow keys and I use left shift to brake. It takes some time to get used to, but this will help you not clutter your driving hand and give you way more control. It's pretty handy for air braking as well. Skill number 3. Reducing air time. In Trackmania, time spent in the air is time not spent accelerating on the ground. You want to stay on the ground as much as possible. There are a few methods for doing this and I'll show you the most common. Driving diagonally down hills and maintaining ground contact instead of jumping can result in a big speed difference. These are some examples from the Summer 2020 campaign on maps 01 and 06. Whenever you have the possibility of driving a bit diagonally, you should. Another thing you can do to reduce airtime is also release when going up reactor boost walls. The same principle applies here as the downhills, where when you're going up, maintaining ground contact is way faster. Even on things like the sausage block, trying to stay around the middle line and avoiding jumping as much as possible will give you a lot more speed. Try to get creative with it when you're playing and see if you can reduce your time spent in the air. It will most of the time be faster. Skill number 4. Don't steer when you gear. This is a mechanic that applies to driving on dirt, ice and grass. Basically, the Trackmania car has an automatic transmission between the gears. But when you steer, you'll lose a bit of speed. If you steer as the car is about to gear up, the speed loss from steering means it takes longer for the car to shift between the gears. And because of that, you'll lose speed. These are the different gears and their speed values. Try to memorize them and play with engine sound on so you can hear them when they happen. It will make your life so much easier in the future. The main ones that you need to watch out for are the gears at 160 and 235 speed. These are the ones you'll encounter the most, and if you see your car approaching those values on dirt, grass or ice, it's best to not turn for a split second, allow the car to shift the gear, and then continue steering. 
Skill number five, the bug slide. This one is a bit more situational, but it's a fairly easy mechanic that you can learn and add to your toolkit. A bug slide is a 90 degree drift, where if you turn your car completely sideways from the direction you came, and you press the drift keys, the car will regain full grip on the wheels, and you can then do a very sharp turn with it. This works on dirt, grass and road, but it will primarily gain you time on dirt and grass. To do it, simply turn the car completely sideways and hold the drift keys in the direction you want to go. Training map 24 is a great map to practice this on, and the clearest use case I've found is on map 19 in the summer 2020 campaign, where you can line the car up sideways on the uphill, drift and cleanly pass through the turn, saving up to a second. So there you have it. To summarize, air brake on jumps to stabilize your car and land flat, drift around sharp turns to gain time, reduce time spent in the air where it's possible, don't steer when you gear and memorize the gear numbers, and lastly, if you have a sharp turn on grass or dirt, you can do a bug slide to gain time. I hope these helped you shave off a few hundreds or maybe even seconds off your personal bests. Remember that practice does make perfect and that if you stay patient and believe in yourself, you can master all the fun mechanics this game has to offer. Let me know if there's any specific mechanics or tricks you want me to cover the next time I do a video like this, and consider subscribing to the channel to stay up to date with when new Trackmania content is coming out. But that's all for now guys, thank you for watching.